Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. Please click on the subscribe button and share to be notified about the new coming videos. Man overboards on cruise ships are luckily not very common but they do happen in fact, these 20 people all fell off cruise ships, and that's just a small sampling of cases, this list is all about what it's like to fall off a cruise ship, and trust us, it can really spoil your vacation. You're unlikely to ever end up in this situation, but just in case you do, this list also explains what to do if you fall off a cruise ship, in fact, this list explains what you should know before you decide whether to book that cruise in the first place, you may decide that a vacation on dry land is safer after Ali Deos. You might never be found. Even though only a minuscule number of people fall off cruise ships every year, the percentage of those people who are rescued alive is very small. Many are never found, either because nobody realizes they are missing until it's too late, or because sea conditions prevent rescue crews from ever spotting them. The hardest part is surviving the fall. When you fall off a cruise ship, you could be falling from as much as 10 stories up, and anyone who's ever done a belly flop knows that hitting water is like hitting concrete, you could easily break a bone, and having the wind knocked out of you can also make you more likely to drown. The ship might not notice that you are gone. In 2015, a man fell off a Royal Caribbean cruise ship and nobody noticed, he was picked up by a carnival cruise ship that happened to be traveling along the same route, technology that can detect when someone falls off a cruise ship is available, but cruise lines are not legally required to install it. The captain might think you are still on the ship. Even if you are reported missing, the ship might not turn around and go back for you right away. When Sarah Kirby fell off a carnival cruise, her friend Rebecca tried to get the captain to turn around, but because Rebecca didn't actually see Sarah fall, the captain would not veer off course until it was certain that Sarah was no longer on board. Sarah was eventually rescued after two hours in the water. The shock of cold water can end your life almost instantly. If you're on a cruise to the Bahamas, your chances of survival are much greater than if you're on a cruise in Alaska, if you fall into cold water, you could die almost instantly of cold shock response, the sudden icy coldness causes you to take an involuntary gasp, causing you to inhale seawater and drown. Survival expert Mike Tipton said that 60% of deaths in cold seas occur in the first few minutes, well before a ship could spot and rescue you. If you survive the initial shock, you still could die of hypothermia within only 30 minutes, to avoid hypothermia you should keep your limbs as close to your body as you can, and exert as little energy as possible, try to stay still and float, Tipton advised, curling up into the fetal position can help keep your body insulated and calm of course, warm water has its fair share of problems too the warmer the water is the more likely you are to encounter a shark. It's harder to spot someone in choppy seas. Spotting a person in the ocean is harder than you might think, and finding a person in rough seas is even more difficult because the water is so choppy, if you're going to fall off a cruise ship, your chances are better if the water is calm that day. Falling from a cruise ship at night is especially scary. If you fall off a cruise ship at night, unless the ship happens to be very close to shore, you're going to be swimming in complete darkness, this also makes it more difficult for rescue crews to find you, talk about terrifying. Foul play is common. Maritime attorney Jim Walker estimates that 50% of overboard incidents are mysteries, and many of those cases involve foul play, the most likely scenario we have seen are men throwing women overboard he said. Alcohol is often involved. The same maritime attorney estimated that about 40% of cruise ship men overboard incidents involve alcohol, this isn't too surprising, given the amount of booze on cruise ships. Thank you for watching. Kindly don't forget to click on the button below to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified about the newest videos.